To make the shell frame, we have our frame, and this is a wooden frame that we distressed and painted an aqua color because we think that's beachy. For shells, we have a variety of shells that we got at the craft store. We've got some scallop shells like this, kind of fun. We've got starfish and just some other various shells in different sizes. And then to glue the shells to the frame, we're going to use E6000. We like this glue for gluing shells. For our design, we decided we want to embellish just this bottom right hand corner. And we usually start with the largest items first when we're doing a project like this, but we decided we want these scallop shells sort of tucked under the starfish. So we're going to start by gluing them first. So I'm just going to take the E6000. We use this for a lot of shell projects. It's nice and viscous. And I'm going to squeeze a little glue out on the edges. There's not a lot of surface area on these shells, so you want to make sure you get enough on the, on the edges to glue it down. A little bit over here. You kind of have to discover where the touch points are going to be when it's touching the frame. There we go. And I'm just going to put this one kind of, kind of here and wonk it a little bit for fun. That's fun. I think we'll do the other one. What, you think, sort of over here? Yeah, I like that. That's Does it need good. to be a little bit closer like that, maybe? Yeah, that's perfect. We got our shells at the craft store, or you could use shells that you got on a trip to the beach, or some people have inherited a shell collection. You could use that. We love rating our shells when we do projects like this, because you really can use any, any shells you want. We've got a little bit of glue in there. That looks great. So now I think, why don't we tuck this starfish just right on Love top it. like that. That's great. I'm trying to see where it's touching. I can feel that it's touching a little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit at the bottom. So I'm going to kind of guess and then see if it holds up. Oh, that worked. Good. And this color of shell is looking really good with the color that we painted. So why don't we fill in, kind of just keep going this way yeah. a little bit with some of the Maybe bigger Maybe a bigger shells. cat's eye could go here. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Maybe this guy there. Yeah, I think that's, that's nice. cute. I like him. Just like that. So once you have the first shells laid out, it gets a little bit easier because then you pick things to tuck in next where it makes sense. Yeah, like this kind of fits nestled in there nicely. Oh, cute. So we'll just put a little glue on that. And this glue will set up in about, probably about 15 minutes. Um, not, you know, you don't want to wrestle the shells around, but it means that you can adjust the shells a little bit right. if you need to. And then this what one's in here. Do you want to put a little something in there? Oh, yeah. Maybe one of those pointy things. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. That or like, maybe that could go right here. Oh, that's good. Like this, like outer in. Kind of pointing out. Pointing in. I like that. Like that. Like that. Let's do that. So you just sort of design on the fly, and we're not going to go fine. much higher than that. We'll just sort of kind of taper the shells off. So going smaller as we go up to this edge, and that'll be the end of this side. Yeah, we can fill in a little bit. Let's see. I want to put, maybe put that one's oh, a little bit big. No, I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. There? Is that too big there? No, I like okay, that. Okay, let's do that. That's cute. And sometimes we paint our shells if we want them all to be white. We'll paint them with pearly white paint, but for this, we like the natural color of the shells. Let's see, how about we do another little pointy guy? Oh, that's here. great. It's kind of symmetric without being too matchy matchy. I like it. That's cute. Now, all the biggest shells are probably in place, I would think. Yeah. So now you can just pick smaller ones, like we have these teeny tiny scallops. That's a cute one. I like this little guy. Put him right there. Yeah. It's yeah, fun it's, to kind of fill in where there, there are gaps. It kind of shows you where the, where yeah, the shells like need to go. Yeah, you like find a tiny spot where something oh, yeah. could go here, something little Let's could put go a little there. there. Like that maybe. Tucked in. Yeah. That looks good. That's cute. What do you think? A couple I more in just, here? Yeah, maybe? one or two or more little, over here. Little teeny tiny. Oh, that's perfect. Teeny tiny. Put a little teeny tiny guy there. Yeah. Maybe, Looking pretty. Maybe one right there. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Oh, that was perfect. I love how different all the shells are. They look they look unified when they're all together. You know, they, they have a similar color story. That so looks pretty. great. So you could go on and do the whole frame, 
But we think that this looks nice just here on the corner like that. And so we're just gonna let that glue dry and our frame is done. Thank you.